Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about desktop development. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, except for video, audio, uh, editing and development work, most new software is web-based. How can desktop software come back from where it is? The state of desktop development is why we have Electron. Well, uh, I'm gonna say that I don't think that you can come back from it. Uh, there is really no way, uh, I, as I see, for desktop development to ever get back from where it is. In a similar fashion, I believe that uh, the that's the fundamental, like uh, the, fu the the fundamental uh, problem is that it is going to be less whatever you do with the desktop. It's always going to be less. It's always going to be less accessible, and uh, has less value in terms of finding information or having easy access to a range uh, to basically all to what we to the internet. Like uh, nothing you can do on a desktop is going to beat the web browser in terms of uh, having easy access to that. And the mobile apps, for example, they have a leg to stand on for the reason that the the apps themselves are an established pattern. It's uh, as I like. To, I like to think about about it this way: the web is how you find information and have fairly easy access to it. In other words, if you uh, if you're looking for something, or you want to check something really quickly, or you want a, a um, if you've gotten used to it or something like that. If you if that is your way in, there's really almost never a reason for you to use anything besides the browser with the one exception that if you have a recurring thing if it's something where like for example the experience of a mobile on a mobile phone uh, or with an app an app itself is usually a lot better like the like the overall user experience better so if it's a re recurring thing if it's something like a social media app or so forth and so forth that you're using on a very regular basis it becomes a more permanent investment for you but the problem with the desktop app is that it has neither the vast majority of people are using like your phones are like it's the it's the computer of our or of our generation even though, like, you mean serious computer, you know, like you know, people who play computer games, or people like myself who like work on desktops or workstations, etc., etc., which is all great, right? Uh, the the desktop era where the desktop was the main platform for like the average consumer is long gone, and the likely, I mean. Uh, even uh, some areas which used to belong to, as you were saying, video editing, audio editing, etc., etc., uh, is moving over to the browser as well. I'm not saying that that's going to be a, perhaps like always the uh, that that's going to be necessarily be a good, great success, uh, but I don't think that uh, the desktop has a future. I, I really don't. It's uh, it's uh, right now the reason for it existing. Is the fact is due to the fact primarily that we don't have a uh, a way to solve like heavy compute client side computational uh, problems from within the browser. But the uh, like it's I don't think anybody's gonna correct me all that much when I say that as uh, the the, in, the the business value for a company. To get the paired with the ease of access and ease of use for a user is a lot higher on the web and then on a desktop because the the like the if you have a web application for as a company that's the best thing for you because you can keep all like you you don't have to concern yourself with like someone stealing your software you don't have to concern your so you, you can keep like all your business logic all your company secrets whatever you uh, you have right you only have to you don't have to ask people to download or anything like delayed gratification or anything like that it's literally that simple and as i said for mobile apps i think that the same thing is true because if you like if you sort of think about it, i mean you could in theory get something 
going. I mean, one of the big successes of the mobile world is the app stores in terms of at least from the user's perspective. I'm not going to talk about like the developer's perspective because that's a very different story. Uh, but the users have an easy way of searching and finding apps on their phone. Not so much if it's a desktop application. And even with that said, it, the, there's no one who's going to go, I want to find a restaurant or something like that. My first initial thought will most likely not be, I'm going to go to my phone and search for an app that finds me a restaurant. They're most likely going to search for something on the like in the browser and as I said once they have established that this thing has value they might look for an app so for a desktop uh, the, the, the investment is even worse like you can't search effectively or like it's not something that is accessible to most people and so I, I really don't but at the same time I'm sort of wondering why you have a concern with this like why would you care whether or not desktop development comes back because as you were saying like the state like the reason why we, the state of the I, I wouldn't go as far as to say that the state of the, uh, desktop development is why we have electron i will argue that we have electron because the uh, electron <laughs> electron solution works is cross platform and it leverages very easy and it's like ex uh, it's way leveraging web technologies basically which is a pretty nifty thing if all you know is web or if you primarily work with web but I don't think that uh, it's the reason like the I, I won't go that far my thoughts on this is actually very simple I believe that you have no no better explanation as to what's happening with the desktop as like with the the old uh, like the iPod it's basically the same problem you had a piece of technology that offered something when it like you came along and like has some value but the vast majority of people have gone over to phones because the phones are now evolved to the point where why would you need an iPod uh, it doesn't make any sense anymore well you can of course have it I'm not saying that they're not being sold or so forth uh, but the uh, you we're very clearly transitioning in a different direction and I think that that is what's happened with the desktops uh, overall like there is a use case for them for because some systems and some companies have that as their business model but the vast majority of like where we're heading is away from the desktop due to most likely I would say the reasons that I've listed maybe a few others but I think that those are the main ones so what I want you to take away from this is that I'm sorry to say that I don't think that the desktop can make a comeback uh, simply because the the use case for a desktop is like it's less portable it's less efficient when it comes to searching for like a desktop apps and so forth there uh, again from a business perspective it's worse for the company because their software is easily pirated uh, from basically all perspectives uh, I would say it doesn't perform as well as mobile apps or the web or so forth and so forth uh, that doesn't mean in my opinion that it's going to go away because there is still a use case it's just that the people who have something very tangible to benefit from when it comes to desktops is fewer than the people who benefit from a mobile phone for us software developers it might be unthinkable but a lot of people just have a phone or an iPad or like maybe they have a laptop it might be the case but it's not like you, that everybody does and so the platforms I'm talking about they're basically split in my opinion split into, into, into those two use cases primarily primarily web is something that is easy to digest easy to access it has like this gigantic thing we call the internet which is probably the most important invention the IT industry has had in in a sense and that's what they're using in order to access it and the mobile phones or like the apps themselves are f basically the replacements of a lot of the desktop applications but sure there are still a few of the desktop applications that are still going to kick around for a while at least in my opinion until the web develops to a point where it can rival that uh, the performance aspect and things like that because once that happens well 
the desktops are never going to beat the searchability and ease of access and so forth. That that's inherited to that's inherited to the web. So if the web ever gets to a point where it can match most of the desktop applications, then like not neither companies nor users will have a great incentive to use desktop applications. But I don't think that that's weird. I don't see you should you shouldn't think about that as a negative thing. It's probably going to take a while, and like what well, it's that's the way of progress. I would say. Have a great day.